Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ma question est pour le ministre de la Sécurité communautaire et des services correctionnels, l'honorable Yasser Nakbi. Speaker, one of the regrettable, tragic, and wholly unanticipated duties of a member of provincial parliament is to attend the funerals of young men who have been senselessly murdered. I had to perform such a duty not long ago while attending the funeral of 19-year-old Hamid Aminzada, a young man who was fatally injured while trying to break up a fight at Naki, North Albion Collegiate Institute. On behalf of the Premier and indeed all members here, I offer the father, Mr. Saber Aminzada, as well as the principal of Naki, Mr. Naim Sadiq, both a figurative as well as a physical embrace, as well as a pledge of support. People in my riding of Etobicoke North and beyond deserve better. Safe communities without fear of violence or Question. gang reprisals. Speaker, on behalf of my community, I look to the Minister of Community and Safety and Correctional Services for help and direction in this matter. Thank you, Minister of Community and Safety you, and Correctional Services. Thank you, Speaker. I want to thank the member from Etobicoke North for, uh, for a very important and pertinent question. First of all, Speaker, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of the victims of the recent acts of violence in Toronto. Speaker, our government is firmly committed to helping at-risk youth achieve a brighter future through a wide range of programs and initiatives. Our recent Youth Action Plan provides young people with supports and services to help them thrive and succeed. Speaker, we're investing over $8 million through Safer and Vital Communities Grant, focusing on community engagement, community mobilization, prevention, and, of course, education. Speaker, we have also provided over $100 million to combat guns and gangs under the Provincial Anti-Violence Intervention Strategy, commonly known as PAVIS, and the Toronto Anti-Violence Intervention Strategy, TAVIS. These programs, Speaker, help communities target illegal gangs, drugs, and weapons activities in communities. Of course, Speaker, we need to do more to protect our, you. our young people in our communities. Thank you, Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, uh, Minister Nakvi, for your response. Uh, I know that you and I are both fathers of sons, so you no doubt can sympathize with the staggering loss that these families feel. Unfortunately, it seems that violence of many motivations seems to be now part of our society, and that there's, of course, no simple solution, quick fix or instant remedy we all appreciate to this complex issue of youth violence. And perhaps focusing purely on fighting gangs and guns will not fully achieve our goal of making our streets safer, but it is, of course, a welcome initiative. Nevertheless, Speaker, I want to know, on behalf of my community and others that are affected, what is our government doing regarding youth crime prevention? Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Minister. Speaker, Minister of Children and Youth Services. Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Speaker. And thanks again to the member from Etobicoke North for raising this very serious and important question. As far as I'm concerned, as the Minister of Children and Youth, one child or youth death in Ontario is one too many. We want to ensure our communities are safe for our children. We want to focus on prevention uh, in terms of these tragedies and, and that they don't happen again. We want to provide youth with opportunities so they can succeed. In 2013-14, we increased the number of youth outreach workers by one-third, from 62 to 98. These workers support over 13,600 hard-to-reach youth and young people across this province. Our government also established the Premier Council on Youth Opportunities for the youth to give their voice on how yes, to improve sir. the delivery and design of government programs and services. As mentioned before, we have the Youth Action Plan. We must work together and invest in our youth to ensure we stop this violence before Thank it you. starts. Thank you.